Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems. In this video, we're going to cover pallets. Now, pallets are a way that we deliver materials inside of MicroStation. What we need to do is we need to go to the Visualization Workflow, go to the Home tab, and we are going to go to the Materials Dialog Launcher in the Materials Group. When we bring up the material editor, you can see that we have a palette open and loading called building. I created that palette. That is called a local palette. You can tell by the blue folder just before it means that it's a local palette. This is a great benefit to us here as far as people doing visualization. The palette is loaded in the drawing file. So every material that I put in that palette gets embedded in the drawing file and then the materials follow the drawing. So if I give this drawing to somebody outside of my organization who might not have my materials, they're sure to get the materials inside the local palette. We scroll down a little bit. You can see I have another palette down here. It has a V8 logo before it. That is a palette called Ecosystem Materials that I'm working on right now. And that palette is in a DGN library. You can tell by the icon at the beginning of it. Also, the icons for the materials. The round icon here, the sphere, that's called a PBR material. And then the book that you see here is our old way of doing materials that we had in V8. And we still support both types of material. Idea behind local palettes, EGM live palettes, and loading a palette. The best practices are that we create a local palette and then the materials that we want to use out of the palette, we can copy and paste them into the local from the ones delivered in the DGN Live. If I go to the palette pull down, click on open, I can scroll through the list of DGN Lives that we have and the palettes that we have in those DGN Lives. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to load glass and plastic. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see glass and plastic comes up here in my list of palettes. Now, best practices are that we create a local palette and then the materials that we want to use out of the palette, we can copy and paste them into the local from the ones delivered in the DGN Live. If I hit the plus sign next to glass and plastic, that's going to expand. And you can see that we have a lot of glass and plastic here. We, we deliver a lot of materials. If I see a material that I want to try, for instance, a blue matte plastic smith, I can right click, hit copy, move up to highlight the building palette, which is local. I right click and paste. That gets copied into the local palette, and then I can assign it to an element. That is the best practice as far as MicroStation is concerned. We want those pallets local and those materials local. So whoever I get the file to, they will have the materials I used in the drawing file. I loaded that pallet. That's a DGN Live delivered pallet, but you can create your own pallet like I did with the building pallet. If you go to pallet and you hit new, it's just going to create a new blank pallet. And then you can name it whatever you want. Maybe I'm going to use this one for the buses. And then I can copy and paste materials into that palette. It's very, very simple. You're just basically creating a folder like you would in Windows and putting files in it. That's all you're doing. I hope this helped as far as palettes are concerned. Take a look at our next videos on attaching materials and assigning materials. Thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.